Big news everybody, in just a few days, over 1 million Americans will be receiving an automatic deposit of a brand new stimulus check. Some low income social security and SSI recipients may be able to claim this new relief payment. So Biden administration officials have also made a new announcement in regards to future inflation relief. So make sure to watch until the end to see how to receive a stimulus check because we got a whole bunch of information that I want you to know. More than 1 million Americans are set to receive a stimulus check in the mail worth on average around $270. The payment is part of a $475 million relief package that was introduced by New York lawmakers last month. Officials say that 1.75 million workers will also get the check by October 31st and also Americans will either receive an Empire State Child 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 Tax Credit, an Empire State Child Tax Credit, an earned income tax credit or both. So you guys are also eligible if you received at least $100 from either one or both payments during the tax year. They must have filed their income state tax return by April 18th of 2022 in order to receive this stimulus money, everybody. So checks will be included on one or both of your payments with the minimum amount issued being $25. The payment for the Empire State Child Credit is anywhere from 25% to 100% of the amount of the credit you received for your 21 taxes. And the payment you earned is for the 25% of the amount that New Yorkers received in 2021. The relief does not need to be reported on the New York State Income Tax Return, everybody. And the governor said this program will put money into the pockets of nearly 2 million families struggling to make ends meet. Now, Assembly Speaker Carl Hiesel added this week that this will put money back into the pockets of hardworking families who have been struggling with the already high cost of childcare, along with rising costs at the grocery store and at the gas pump. The check should arrive by October 31st, but it may be delayed if officials require additional information. Meanwhile, refunds worth around $200 $12,000 are being issued in California. California is sending 2.1 million direct deposits worth a minimum of $1,000 to several families two days ago. The state of California helps economic inflation impact with millions of dollars gathered for a single stimulus check payment. Even when California delivered the first deposits a week ago, several beneficiaries are asking why they haven't received their stimulus check money. According to the Franchise Tax Board, California sent 700,000 inflation relief deposits to all residents who wanted an electronic transaction card instead of a check. The same information reveals that the Franchise Tax Board must deliver 2.1 million direct deposits. However, state officials have said that if you didn't receive your inflation relief money, don't worry because it's still here. Now, the Biden administration has opened the application process for Americans seeking student debt relief in a beta period starting this week. According to Biden administration officials, this will allow applicants to begin signing up before the website is even formally unveiled later this month. In August, President Biden announced his decision to cancel up to $10,000 in student loan debt for individuals making less than 125 dollars a year, or as much as $20,000 for eligible barbers who are also Pell Grant recipients. Folks, in just 20 months since I've been in office, we've cut the deficit in half. And that's not all. We're relieving student debt, we're also resuming student loan repayments that you're going to have to start to pay because you had a they had this long period where no one had to pay because of the pandemic. So come January, folks whose debt isn't fully canceled are going to have to start paying the student loans off. That means billions of dollars a year are going to start coming back into the Treasury as well. My administration's plan is economically responsible and an economically responsible course to ensure a smooth transition to repayment and prevent unnecessary defaults. And it's also focused on going after fraudsters who call borrowers to pretend they're the government and want to help you with your loans. You get a call, hang up. Not a joke, let's be clear. No, pay no attention to them because you never have to pay for help with your federal student loan. Don't listen to anyone who calls. I told you just go online, it's four questions. And if you get any questions, please report to the following uh, website. Reportfraud.ftc.gov. Report fraud. My message to the fraud, sir. President Biden, everybody, is now being urged to take executive action this week to help the American people financially. This executive order could be signed this week by the president, but lawmakers have opposed a few changes to it. And the good news is that the General Assembly announced that a bill has been filed to provide $300 in direct payments to Delaware taxpayers to help with the rising cost of gas and other necessities. 
Under the plan, which is the support of Governor John Carney, a $300 direct payment will go to every resident who filed a 2020 tax return. According to lawmakers, this is the first time Delaware has ever done a rebate program, since the state has an unprecedented $1 billion surplus. Lawmakers said they saw a rebate program as the best way to provide quick relief to people in Delaware experiencing any financial strain. The payments would go to anyone who filed a tax return in 2020, which is an estimated, which is an estimated 600,000 residents. And there are some residents who do not file a tax return, especially seniors and low-income residents. Language in the bill filed this week says that all adults, re the all adult residents, even those who do not file a 2020 tax return, will receive the 300. The 300 dollars will not be subject to Delaware income taxes. The rebate is for every individual tax filer, regardless of filing married, jointly, or separately. So a married couple would get $600. For months, Delaware lawmakers expected to have a whopping $800 million in extra revenue for this fiscal year. The Delaware Economic and Financial Advisory Council recently projected that there will be an additional $206 million in revenue for this fiscal year, resulting in a surplus of a billion dollars. Lawmakers said they expect to vote on the measure next month. It's expected to sail through the General Assembly quickly because it is backed by Democratic and Republican leadership. Representative Valerie Longers, the state's House Majority Leader, said the hope for residents to receive the money before June 30th. So this is nice news for Delaware residents. And also, people in Maine can now check the status of their $850 relief payments using a new website from the Maine Revenue Services. The checks, which will be paid for with $730 million from an estate surplus, were approved by the Maine Legislature this past season as a one-time payment to help with the rising cost of inflation. The Department of Administrative and Financial Services says it mailed initial $5,000 relief checks via the U.S. Postal Service. Those are expected to arrive in mailboxes as early as this week. The department will then issue around 200,000 checks per week after that, with the vast majority of qualifying Mainers who have already filed their 2021 main tax return expected to receive the check by mid-July. Eligible Mainers should expect to see the checks arrive this week, and the status says it will be based on when your 2021 tax return was received. And while the tax deadline has passed, it's not too late to file a return. Mainers have until October 31st. The relief payments are also available to retirees and to those who receive Social Security and SSI, so long as they meet the eligibility criteria. With widespread student loan forgiveness has not yet become a reality, some U.S. borrowers have already received some debt relief. Roughly 1.3 million borrowers have seen $25 billion in student, de in student debt forgiveness. Now is the gentlewoman from Washington, Ms. Jayapal, for five minutes. Well, thank you, Mr. Chairman. That was very instructive, that last five minutes. Let me just take on several points. Um, the other side is money out too. Let's be really clear. That's the $2 trillion tax cut that Donald Trump passed with Republican votes. And that is a tax cut that went to the top 10% of the country. Um, and that's if you're generous, it went to the top 10%. So don't tell me that we don't, that you don't like to give out uh, free money because you're giving it out all the time. Let's look at, if you want to look at a debacle, how about the debacle of what's happening right now with oil and gas companies profiteering and the profits of these going up massively, even as working people across this country cannot afford their gas at the pump. This is profiteering, and it's not just by those oil companies. Look at the food companies, look at the agriculture companies. You are seeing people profiteering right now, and those are the people that our colleagues on the other side of the aisle want to help. The difference here is that Democrats want to help regular working people folks who are struggling across the country just to make ends meet. That's what Democrats are about. And that's why when you look at the American Rescue Plan, it was an unmitigated success. And it was an unmitigated success for the 